Hi, everyone. I am here with Lisa from Cherokee Copper. It is great to see everyone today. So we had a little hiccup and kind of punted. So um, Chef Nico is going to be with us on Friday. Thankfully, she had a flat tire in the middle of the mountains and kind of got stuck in the middle of the mountains. So she's uh, she's rescuing her car and herself, and she'll be with us on Friday to give us the amazing recipe that I cannot wait to see. I don't even know what she's making. So it's going to be a surprise for all of us. We're going to see what she makes. I'm really excited about it. But luckily, I had made a three sister salad. So we're going to talk a little bit about the three sister salad goes in it. But I really wanted to announce for you guys. I promised an announcement. So Lisa and I are here to announce our big announcement. We have a contest going on. We've got a giveaway going on. You right. could enter right now and win a $100 shopping spree. $50 on Cherokee Copper, $50 on Foodocracy to buy whatever your little heart desires. But I know on Cherokee Copper, you're gonna want this necklace. This is a beautiful three sisters necklace that Lisa's family designed and built. So Lisa, tell me a little bit about this necklace. Who designed it? Well, Mariah did. She is our oldest daughter. She's actually an award-winning Cherokee artist. Um, usually works in pearls, but also does painting and acrylics and other things. And she designed this necklace based on the three sisters. It is so beautiful. I love it. And what, one of the things I love about it is it kind of goes with everything, but I love, the you know, I, I just, I love the story. So we are this week on Foodocracy and Cherokee Hopper. We're talking about the three sisters all week. There's a blog post on our website. So you read all about the three sisters and the different um, interpretations of the legend that go through through many different um, Native American nations. Um, on there, of course, is the Cherokee uh, legend. And so we're honoring it both in um, art and jewelry and in, and in, um, and in food, cooking with the Cherokee, uh, cooking with the three sisters. And also we honor, of course, it is uh, from agriculture, from growing. And hopefully a lot of you guys are growing in your garden. So you can talk a little bit about that. So Lisa, tell me a little bit about the Cherokee version of the three sisters legend. And tell me a little bit about it. Well, the three sisters, as you may already know, Lisa, are um, squash, beans, and corn. And they were always grown together because they work synergistically. So the corn stalk helps hold up the beans while the squash will cover the ground to shade. The beans also add nutrients back into the soil that the corn needs. Um, little, sometimes they would add um, fish meal to it too. So that's just a, yeah, that's just a little thing my dad would do is he would go get ground fish meal or um, ground shells even and put them in the ground when they planted it for the extra calcium. It's extra calcium, yes. And I used to always grow with fish meal too. So I didn't know, but of course, you know, when the um, Europeans came to this country, we learned so much about agriculture from the Native Americans and we don't give them credit for it. You know, we kind of think we've always been doing this, but we really haven't. <laughs> it really came from the Native Americans. And this idea of growing the three sisters, uh, corn, beans, and squash, came from the Native Americans. The first person, first uh, tribe to coin the term the three sisters was actually the Mohawks. I, I didn't know that until recently, which was interesting. But what is fascinating is that there's some versions of the three sisters legend that is usually kind of a creation story um, right. that goes through everyone. And everyone has some version of it, that there were three sisters, corns, beans, and squash, and they worked together and helped each other. Um, and, and it's a, a very pervasive and important um, how important are these three things in Native American culture and tradition? Well, the corn, of course, and the beans work together to make a complete protein. And they figured this out. So they can rely less on meat and rely be more agricultural that way. So that's one of the ways it was an important source of food for them. It is. And, you know, everyone's talking about regenerative farming right now. Like it, regenerative farming is the hot, hot thing. Like you can't escape everyone talking about regenerative farking, farming. Yesterday it was organic. Now it's all regenerative, right? right? And guess what the first regenerative farming was? The three, three sisters. sisters. 
Yeah. <laughs> that was, it was using um, all three of them in harmony together to create a perfect ecosystem that helped everything and improved the soil versus depleting it. Right. And, because the beans, yeah, the beans added back into the soil what the corn took out. Exactly. So they kind of create this perfect perfect thing. Beans add add nitrogen back to the soil. So it's this perfect harmony that works together. And, and, you know, it was, it, we have the Native Americans to thank for that. You know, it was, it was the three sisters that really was the original regenerative farming. So, and now it's all a fad, <laughs> but we wanted to, you know, really honor that um, and teach everyone a little bit about this thing that we're all talking about. We don't, we don't attribute it to Native Americans. And we really want to remind everyone of where this came from. So on you on um, Turkey Copper, you you can get the beautiful Three Sisters necklace. Their link to that is on the in the comments below. The first link in the comments below is to join the giveaway. So click that link and you could win a hundred dollars shopping spree to spend however you want on Cherokee Copper and Foodocracy, fifty dollars each. You can have a great shopping spree. You can really do some damage for that amount. And yeah. And then the second link is for the Three Sisters necklace. So you can see that in Cherokee Copy. And in a minute, I'll give you a link to our Three Sisters collection that we put on the website this week so that you could kind of peruse some of the Native American greens that we have on our site, like Ramona Farms. Let's see if I can do this upside down. Uh, <laughs> anyway, there we go. Oh, this is like patting your head and rubbing your tummy. There we go. Um, so Ramona Farms, which is one of the Native American farms that we work with, um, they are in Arizona. There's the o Odom um, tribe, and they have been growing tepary beans for thousands and thousands of years. Um, this is I chose for the salad that I'm working with today uh, the white tepary bean. There is white, black, and brown tepary bean. Each one has a slightly different flavor. The white is slightly sweeter which is why I like it in the salad. The brown is slightly earthier. So if I'm doing an earthy salad, I might like choose the brown. And the black has a slightly chocolatey flavor with a little bit of a lime limeness to it. It was really lovely. So all of those are beautiful, beautiful beans that work great in a three sister salad. And I've also, I've got here, I'm today I'm not working with hominy. I'm working with actually some fresh corn that I roasted. But I like to use the hominy. This is hominy that comes from Mohawk Chef um, uh, uh, in, you know, uh, from Corn Mafia. He's doing amazing work, nixtamalizing um, land race and indigenous corn. And this is the Becky Blanca hominy also in the collection. And that I made a hominy salad, which you can see in our YouTube channel um, last, uh, last week, I think it was, or two weeks ago. And that's a lovely, lovely salad as well. So you can um, check out both of those. And today I'll talk a little bit about, I'm going to just give you a few minutes on the Three Sisters salad. Now, if you saw last year, about this time in the summer, I did a live with um, Ramona Farms and we made this tepary bean salad. All it is, is grilled squash, grilled corn, and some tepary beans that have been cooked, rinsed, and drained. And then to that, I simply add, lime juice and a little, I used olive oil, but you can use another kind of oil if you would like, um, but olive oil works great. A little salt and pepper, and if you're feeling cheeky, you can add a little bit of your jalapeno from your garden, and, and, and some cilantro, and that's it. It's a very, very simple salad. That's very so easy and yummy. It's super yummy, it's nice, you can make it a day or two ahead and just chill it in the fridge, and because, it's all grilled ingredients. They don't get wilty and yucky, you know, when you're, you put them out for a barbecue or something. So maybe for your Juneteenth celebration or for your Father's Day, maybe you want to make a little three sister salad. And then you can talk at the table about the origins of the three sisters. And of course, don't forget to enter the contest while you're talking about it. Because <laughs> why not, right? Yeah. Might as well win something for yourself. Why not win something for yourself? Exactly. And go on a nice shopping spree. So thank you everyone for joining us today. Please uh, click the link in the comments and join the contest. And the links are on both of our websites too. So if you go to either one of our websites, you can, you know, uh, the pop-up will come up and you can join that contest right away. And, and we'll have it on our, on our social media all week. So it's easy to get. 
click on those links, join the contest, and good luck, everyone. And don't forget to tune in on um, Friday. Oh, yes. Thank you for reminding me. Yes, Friday. Chef Nico is going to be here on Friday. So definitely um, I'm going to be posting that up here in about 15 minutes. There will be a post up with um, the link to Chef Nico on Friday because I have to create a new link. So Chef Nico on Friday, 1230 um, on Facebook and YouTube. You can check out either link, whatever is your platform of choice. And, um, and good luck on the contest. Enter now. Bye, everyone, and I will see you on Friday. Bye, everyone. Oh, there we go.